Hello, everybody. This is Stephen, and welcome back to another technical analysis session. Uh, this week, we're going to look back at some uh, indicators we've previously looked at and build upon them, uh, always following the trend. We're going to really analyze the trend this week. And this week, we're looking at the hemp can uh, company Naturally Splendid trading uh, on the OTC in Frankfurt, Germany, and also on the TSX, the Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, so well traded this stock. Uh, but let's jump over to the pricing chart and see the trends that we can identify. So you'll see we're in kind of an epic uh, downward trend. Um, this is back till late 2018, uh, up around 23 cents the stock price. And look how it's just gone down, down, down to about 9 cents right now. Uh, last week we talked about the average directional, the ADX here, and this we know the higher it is, the stronger the trend, the lower, the weaker the trend. Uh, and look how low it is. Below 15 is pretty rare actually to see the ADX. Uh, and so what we're seeing right now is exactly what the price uh, chart is telling us, that there is no trend, not a lot of movement. It's been around 9 cents since February, so almost all of 2019. Uh, this stock has just stayed right about 9 or 10 cents. No movements means no trend. The ADX is very low, below 15. Again, up above 40 and, and definitely up above 50 is a really strong trend in the ADX. Uh, and we did see that with this big price drop. But now we're adding on. So we're looking at trends, and, and so we're going to add to the ADX now. And we have the, the KST, which is the no sure thing. Uh, and you'll see two lines, a red line and a, and a green line. And I'll just bring this up. The green line is the no sure thing, and the red line is the signal line. So if we look at this again, uh, the red line crossed right about here when we, we were in the middle of our big drop and stayed on top until our horizontal period for almost all of 2019. The signal for a, a bull here is when the, the green line crosses above the red line. So the KST line crosses above the signal line. And the signal for a bear is the opposite, which is what we see right here where the red line presses above the green line. So this huge price drop, that was our bear, our bear signal. Look what's recently developed here. We just had a cross, the KST crossed. Uh, and I'm going to just zoom in to more recent. The KST just crossed right here. Um, when we were about at $0.08, cents, price went up to about $9.50. Uh, so that's kind of our, bear, our, our bull signal. Sorry, I apologize. That's a bull signal. Uh, and our ADX is still staying pretty low. We're also going to look at our copper curve, which is another trend indicator. And it's a single line. And what you want to watch for here, if you look at the y-axis, is when it crosses zero. That's a bullish signal. And you'll see almost on the time, same time frame as our KST crossed the signal line, we had our copper curve cross zero and go positive. So that's a bullish signal. This is a bullish signal. This is kind of ticking up, but uh, you know that's definitely not a strong trend. We wouldn't. So this one's holding back. Uh, so we may pre be predicting a, a change in the trend for the naturally splendid in the short term. Uh, and we really want to watch the ADX to increase. The more it increases, the more this pricing chart is going to increase. Uh, so this is kind of how you want to analyze all those trends, predict those, uh, those movements that the pricing chart isn't really doing yet. Uh, and that's exactly what the KST and Coppet curve is showing us this week. So Keep learning, keep trading, and always remember trading is fun and take your profit when you can.